you're tying the knot, right? So, with any good knot, it needs to be done right, just like today. But the thing about marriage, you know, you can't do it by yourself sometimes. You need people to help you. Well, here's my commitment by helping you guys tie the knot. Just so you guys remember, this is always going to be here. So, if you ever need help tying the knot or rekindling, I'm here for you. So as far as you guys get away, you guys can never go too far because you guys are locked in by this day. Today, as we extend our friendship to include these vows of marriage, I want to thank you for the love, happiness, healthiness, support, not to mention the bike riding and bike scars you have brought into my life. I love the person I am when I'm with you. I love that we look at life a little differently as we grow from best friends to best friends who are husband and wife, I simply vow to you to remember this day and the step and commitment we have made here. <laughs> I choose you to be my partner and teammate in this lifelong adventure. I truly, truly love you. Try to top that. I'm not. <laughs> I studied philosophy, as some of you know, and some of you don't know, and I'd like to think of myself as a linguist, and I was thinking of great words I could describe you with that had many syllables, and they just lacked their luster. This is where the allergies kick in, and I cry. It's, it's the pollen in the air, it's not me. Um, You're doing good. Thank you. Um, when I was thinking of words to, to describe you, I couldn't think of any because they just seemed meaningless. You're my world. I love you. And every great moment I've had, you've been next to me. And I'm so grateful for it. My New Year's resolution this year was to ask you <laughs> every day what I could do for you or how I could help you. And, and it's helped me to be less selfish and it's made me a better person and I'm grateful for it. And, I love serving you. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm gonna mess it up. But... <laughs> From this day forward, as long as our names are spoken, I'll be known as yours. Can I kiss her yet? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no matter what we have gone through, Casey, you have always been there, and I know that you're gonna do the same for Molly, like you do for all your friends. Um, and I know in all of our years, I've never heard you speak of someone like you, speak, you spoke of Molly. And I'm just so happy that you found her, that you found each other. Um, early on, I could tell that it was really something special. <laughs> um, you guys support one another, you play together, you're best friends. Um, and here's to a lifetime of happiness for you guys. All jokes aside, Molly is my bestest best friend. I love her. And if you're lucky enough to be her friend, then you will always know a life of happiness, a life of joy, a life of adventure. And I'm just so happy for you. Don't make me cry. Stop it. You're the worst. Oh, that said, um, here's to... Casey and Holly, may you always know a life of happiness, a life of adventure, a life of joy. Please have the tallest babies ever and, and the, the NBA and you'll get to retire so early. It'll be so good for all of us. I love you. Thank you all for being here. So I guess here's a toast to finding people that will tolerate us. Yeah. And, and to keeping close despite the distances into a life full of love, adventure, and good fortune. By the power invested in us by the great state of Colorado, I now pronounce us husband. And wife. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. Woo! Oh!